Cain is deified. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. He was mortal once, as were we all. However, his contempt for humanity drove him to create me and my brethren. I am Raziel, firstborn of his lieutenants. I stood with him and my brothers at the dawn of the Empire. I have served Cain a millennium. We became less human and more divine. Cain would enter the state of change and emerge with a new gift. Some years after the Master, our evolution would follow. Until I had the honor of surpassing my Lord. For my transgression, I earned a new kind of reward. Agony. There was only one possible outcome. was to suffer the fate of traitors and weaklings, to burn forever in the bowels of the lake of the dead. depths of the abyss, unspeakable pain, relentless agony, time ceased to exist, only this torture and a deepening hatred of the hypocrisy that damned me to this hell. An eternity passed and my torment receded, bringing me back from the precipice of madness. The descent had destroyed me, and yet I lived. I know you, Rosier. You are worthy. You are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. You did not survive the abyss, Raziel. I have only spared you from total dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours. I am destroyed. You are reborn. The birth of one of Cain's abominations traps the essence of life. It is this soul that animates the corpse you lived in. And that, Raziel, is the demise of Nazgoth. There is no balance. The souls of the dead remain trapped. I cannot spin them in the wheel of fate. They cannot complete their destinies. Redeem yourself. Or if you prefer, avenge yourself. Settle your dispute with Cain. Destroy him and your brethren. Free their souls and let the wheel of fate churn again. Use your hatred to reave their souls. I can make it possible. 
become my soul reaver, my angel of death. These gates twist space, laying a path across great spans. desire for blood. You are changed. Your bloodthirst is replaced by a deeper need. You have become a devourer of souls. To sustain your strength, you must hunt the lost spirits of the underworld and consume the souls of your enemies. Your wings, though ruined, are not without purpose. Take hold of them as you leap, and they will carry you across this chasm. What scabrous wretches are these? Sure, the scavengers of the underworld. Their feral hunger has claimed countless souls, spirits who now shall never find their rest. are your conduit between the spectral and material realms. With their aid, you may gather matter and will yourself to become manifest in the physical world. This is taxing, however. Your strength must first be fully restored. You require no conduit to return to this plane. You may abandon your physical body at any time. Sustain your strength to prolong your manifestation in the physical world. If you fail to feed or absorb too many wounds, this fragile matter will dissolve. You are young yet, Raziel. You still retain many of your vampiric weaknesses. Immersion in water, while not fatal, will dissolve your physical body, forcing your return to the spirit world. Be aware that in the spectral realm, water has neither heft nor lift. It stands as thin as air. Them? They are the children of your brother, 
Do ma. That's impossible. These foul, scuttling beasts could not be kin of our high blood. Do you suppose that time stood still for you, Raziel? Much has changed since you passed from the world of men. I knew my opponent's weaknesses, having suffered them myself. Physical wounds are fleeting. Vampire's immortal flesh begins to close as soon as it is cleaved. Vampires need only fear those wounds that impale or inflame. Water scorches like acid, and fledglings are devastated by sunlight's touch. I would have to modify my tactics to suit my foes. <laughs> Unfettered from the flesh, a creature's soul fades swiftly into the spectral realm. Draw it in quickly, Raziel, or you will be compelled to follow. Physical prowess surpasses what you knew in life. Even massive obstacles can be moved effortlessly. reduced to ruin. Beyond these walls lay the pillars of Nosgoth, the seat of Cain's empire. How humble it now appeared, collapsing into the dust of its former magnificence. And yet, I had only just emerged. In the instant between my execution and resurrection, centuries had apparently passed. This world is wrecked with cataclysms. The Earth strains to shrug off the pestilence of Cain's parasitic empire. The fate of this world was preordained in an instant by a solitary man. Unwilling to martyr himself to restore Nosgoth's balance, Cain condemned the world to the decay you see. In that moment, the unraveling began. Now it is nearly played out. Nosgoth teeters on the brink of collapse. Its fragile balance cannot hold.
This, at least, had remained constant. The endlessly swirling vortex of the abyss. My tomb and the womb of my rebirth. Though much of Noscot's landscape had changed, these cliffs gave me my bearings. My clan territory was to the west. I was anxious to see how my descendants had fared during the centuries of my absence. world like excrement from a boot. I knew the hand that wrought this deed. 